We're right here at Port Aransas, Texas. We're filled with pristine beaches, great family attractions, lots of fresh seafood, lots of great fishing. You know, Port A really began as a fishing port. It was a fishing town, uh, a wonderful place for people to come out and catch great fish, but it has turned into something more uh, each and every year. So every year we add more elements, we add more depth to this destination, more things for people to do, more food for people to try. Port Aransas has it all. We love to bring in as many tournaments as we can to this region and it's so ripe and ready for people to come harvest and have a great time. And what that means for us here locally, you know, it helps build our businesses and, and build us all back from this pandemic that we're in the middle of right now, as well as the Hurricane Harvey that hit just a few years ago. So, you know, our businesses rely on tournaments to make this community what it is. One of the many tournaments that Port Aransas hosts is the IFA Redfish Tour. And it's the hospitality and kindness shown by the locals and the Port Aransas Tourism Bureau and Chamber of Commerce that has the IFA Redfish Tour returning to these pristine waters year after year. Recently, Port Aransas once again hosted this premier grassroots inshore tournament with a total cash purse worth just over $40,000, including a Ranger RB190 waiting for the first place team. 54 teams eagerly duked it out on the coastal waters of Port Aransas. Let's get right to the action and see how this tournament panned out. Right on. Yeah. That ain't what we're looking for. Too small, 19. Little bitty red fish. <laughs> Obviously that ain't what we're in here for, huh? <laughs> Need his great, 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 great grandma. <laughs> Get her up here, we'll be doing some good. Another little one. Dang, these little fish. Little one, my little buddy. <laughs> Pretty spots on that. I don't think so. Yeah, he made it. 20 and a half. We on the board. <laughs> Just wish he was a little bigger. But you never know how the day's gonna pan out. You got one in there, you catch a real big one. That one looks pretty nice to you when you got two, you know. Stay on there, man. Well, there's your other one with that little one there you're talking about. Come here. Come on. Mm, not a boy. Not a baby. I think That's he's good dump. too. He's good. I hope he's good. If he's good, he's over 80 easy. Oh, he's too big. Alan and Tanner continued casting lines for several more hours. And while our featured team may not have secured the win this year, it looks like there's plenty of fish being hauled back to the scales. Well, we're at weigh-in and checking in with the top three of the leaderboard. In third place is Russell O'Reilly and Corey Servant with 16.37 pounds. Our hats are off to the guys that won. They came in with big bags. They did a heck of a job. This is a tough time of year to catch big weight like that. Um, so yeah, we couldn't be happier. Coming in second place with a whopping 17.59 pounds is Chris Smith and Blake Trevino. Average fish we caught we saw. You know, we just got lucky and got the right bites. We had refusals like everyone else would. Uh, we just got lucky, got the red bites. Nate Forbes and Mitchell Collins just barely edge out Chris and Blake for first place with a total weight of 17.78 pounds. Oh, lucky over here, he got it done today. He caught a 10 and 10.49 pound redfish today out of a school that we were just catching oversize and 27 and a half inches all day long out of, you know, and then all of a sudden he caught that fish and tail came up flopping on the surface and we netted him and we knew it was a good, so. It's a lot of fun, you know. Good to be out there with my buddy and caught some good fish. Here's a look at the top 10 standings. With beautiful beaches stretching as far as the eye can see, exceptional coastal waters and unlimited activities, it's easy to see why we keep coming back to Port Aransas and why it will always be one of our favorite destinations on the Gulf Coast.
To book your own fishing trip out here or just to enjoy a nice vacation getaway, check out what the city has to offer at visitportaransas.com.